what I... Can you make it? Of course I can! You think I'm a weakling or something? Huh? A Hoka! We have to hurry! Wait! Finya! I just need to warm up a little. But we don't have time. Otherwise, a haka will get us. You and your silly snow troll. And your grandmother, too. We can't run away forever. Look, he is not a silly snow troll. He's only doing what Grandma tells him to. We have to keep moving, even if you're tired. I told you I'm not tired. I just don't know whether all of this is worth it anymore. But only true love. Just trust me, Florin. We can't be arguing now. Please. Okay. So let's go. What? Don't you believe in the spell anymore? It's not working! Why isn't it working? Maybe it's our fault. Maybe it's because we... Don't love each other? How could you believe such a thing? I think it's... Best that I leave now. After this, I was completely blinded by my prejudice and misjudged you both. I'm so sorry. From now on, I will no longer stand in your way. And I owe you an apology in particular. No big deal. It's all snow under the bridge, huh? <laughs> you weren't talking about me, were you? <laughs> <laughs> Craziness. These two urgently need oxygen. Uh, uh. What am I doing here? Jack! Jack, wake up! Huh? Oh, where am I? You were unconscious. I tried to reach Tom. I'm so worried. 
<laughs> this is going to be fun. <laughs> Let's use the energy container over there. Huh? Hey, stop! Hey, get out of my oh. way, green. Ah. <gasps> Alarm! Jack, <gasps> quick! What's happening now? What's going on? Stay right where you are. Uh, stay where you are! Huh? Didn't you say they were harmless? No! They're super dangerous! <laughs> My knees are shaking. <laughs> Just you wait. Oh, take cover! Oh no! You've got exactly 0 0.4 seconds to get out of here! <sighs> Dark Ranger Unit X-13, there's a problem on Future Planet. <sighs> Black Tower. Huh? Oh. Tom, what was that? A Dark Ranger speed glider. I hope he hasn't seen us. Is it still far? Half a day, I'd guess. Let's go then. The last one there has to pull up weeds for a week. That's what I like about Tom. He always loves it when things get dangerous. Star. Strangers are Marduk. Great. It's been too long since I got to arrest someone. <laughs> Sir, here are the requested photos. It's getting better and better. Fantastic. They really are from future plan. It's time to tempt feet. I'm Mystery Man, the right-hand man of the Dark Boss. Commander-in-chief of the Dark Rangers, and you're in trouble now. But I'll give you a chance. Choose your best fighter. If he beats me in a duel, I'll let you go. If not, I'll hand you over to the Dark Boss. One second. Go for it! Why? You want to give us a chance? He got that from me. Because I'm me, Will. Why'd you want to duel me then? I can't just let you go. Ah. Mystery man, you're a real enigma. It's all in the name. <laughs> but there's one thing that gives you away. Really? What's that? Your sunglasses. They're a bit too cool. I bet your secret is hidden right behind them. Nonsense. I carry these to avoid getting blinded by the darkness. Shouldn't we hand you over to Dark Boss straight away? May I? Hey! But what do you want with the photos? Don't! Or what? Give them back. I saw the way you were looking at these. You have dreams, Mystery Man. You're the only Dark Ranger with feelings. Oh, nonsense. Oh. Oh. You've never left Marduk, have you? That's rubbish. Give me the photos now. Ooh. Why? Did Dark Boss forbid you to go? Don't be silly! I give you the fire of Greymoor. Uh, what do you want? Oh, your dinner can speak. What? Uh. <laughs> Impossible! You cannot eat him. He will be my jester. <laughs> what? We'll get you something better. A juicy deer. For when Thunder Forest burns, they'll all come running. Uh, it's all dented. 
Yeah. Ah, Marrow's sword. But then, where's Marrow? <laughs> Come on, fellows, don't be difficult. He's refusing to budge. Huh? huh? Definitely ice. <laughs> well done, little one. Master Harun, who do you think is behind last night's attack? My brother Dragon, I'm afraid. A hundred years ago, he was imprisoned in the Dark Mountain by my father, the Mandarin. For Dragon did not care about friendship. He was driven by his lust for power. When I was entrusted with guardianship of the Dragon Fires, his anger consumed him. He cursed me with a dark spell. And ever since, I have been trapped in the body of a golden dragon. <laughs> Quiet, fellows. It was only a story. <laughs> <laughs> the forest is burning! And lately, he keeps getting ticks all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? We are Han and Juno, guardians of the dragon fires. Master Haru has sent us. Really? To travel with you through the fog. And where are you going? Inside the dark mountain. <laughs> Very funny. You're going inside the dark mountain. <laughs> then you really do have to go through the fog. Take heed! As long as he possesses the dragon fire, he has superhuman powers. <laughs> Here come the spoil sports. Guardians of the dragon fires, attack! attack! Seventeen men. On a samurai's chest! Whoa! Close. You see that there? Yes. A deadly place. The fog is very dangerous. It can take you anywhere. But it is moody. And if it chooses, it can spit you out at the end of the world. Don't touch it! What? Hands down! They were fog sprites. They won't kill you, but they will leave a nasty red rash. Whoa. Welcome to the Dark Mountain, gentlemen. <laughs> Just you wait. Hey! Bright Feather have to be the chief's daughter. Take it like a warrior, my brother. Hey, greetings, Chief Sharptaw. I come bearing a gift for Bright Feather. <gasps> a gift for me? Go on, Red Cloud. <laughs> Bright Feather. To me, you are as lovely as uh, this nugget of gold. You give me a stone and tell me I look like a boulder? You've lost your mind! <laughs> <laughs> She's just like Chief Sharpclaw. I think it's time for Plan B. <sighs> These guys look pretty mean. Just wait. When they see the gold, they'll be eating out of the palm of our hands. Is that clear? Oh, 
pinch me. <laughs> what do we have here? Seems like two natives looking for trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, Bennett. Stop! <laughs> Give me one reason not to blow those feathers right off your head. Here. A large golden nugget. What? Gold? And you'll get another one as soon as you've helped me with my plan. Open up a can of beans. We have guests. <laughs> okay, let me spell it out. Bright Feather goes for a walk near the frontier every afternoon. Uh -huh, yeah. You ride towards her and pretend you're going to rob her. Uh -huh. Yeah, I like it. And then I come riding in on my proud horse, swing my tomahawk, mm -hmm. and chase you away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this little one would make a really good bandit. <laughs> oh, a vulture. Oh, how cute. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and then she'll think you are the bravest warrior she has ever laid her eyes on. Oh, there are the bandits. Walking Get alone the in the prairie. Go <laughs> <Don't wait, laughs> <it's time. laughs> Come on, show them. Yeah. <laughs> My father's gonna get you for this and feed you to the vultures. Tomahawk, what are they doing here? Ah. <clears throat> My lady, I am sorry, but uh, feeding wildlife is prohibited. <laughs> you need to come with us. Uh, you can't be serious! Uh, stop I just and jump in the barrel. Now calm down, please. You're making my horse all nervous. Uh, let me go immediately! Hey. Who have you got there? I have a captive. She was caught feeding the wild. Well then, welcome to Fort Bragg. Let me out of here. Oh, if they harm even one hair on Bright Feather's head, then, then Sharp Claw will harm ours. <laughs> Paper Ball, what do you want with the magic powder? What do you want with the beaver? Come on, beaver. Choose your way through. the tomahawk on the ground slowly. Huh? They've got Red Cloud. <laughs> George! It's time for the big attack! The natives are attacking! The <laughs> Colonel! It came from there! We're surrounded! Climb onto to the balustrade! Up onto the balustrade! <laughs> Come out, you cowards! I can't see anybody, it's so large! They're hiding! Just shoot! Yeah, they're 